We're here with uh, Wednesday post practice availability with Coach Wilcox. If you have a question for Coach, let me know in the chat. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started with Trace Travers from Rivals. Go ahead, Trace. Yeah, Coach. I guess through a couple days of practice with more of a full roster, how have you guys felt through those two days? Uh, it's been really good. A uh, ton of energy at practice. I think I mentioned that to you yesterday. Uh, you know, and having most everybody back and including coaches and grad assistants uh, just as uh, it's been good and spirited. I wanted to ask about having those coaches and grad assistants back. I asked uh, Peter and Bill about it earlier and not having your general support system like you did at Arizona. What was it like trying to, you know, fill those headsets, so to speak, during that game and not having maybe the same eyes that you'd have in the press box as you usually would. Yeah, it was unique. Uh, we really all hands on deck. Yeah. Um, we had guys that work on our support staff. So whether it's recruiting or, um, you know, academic support, those guys were involved. We, we uh, had some people that used to work here that came in and helped us out during the game. Um, so it was a first for, for many of, us to kind of work through something like that, but the, you know, the teamwork and the uh, kind of uh, the effort to help was, was evident by all those people and really just speaks to the kind of people we got around here. So, um, you know, it was uh, not having coaches. Yeah, that's, it's not ideal. And there was a number of coaches and grad assistants missing. And whether you're talking about practice, uh, instruction during practice, instruction during meetings, you know, Zoom is one thing. Um, and then the game, the logistics of the game and problem solving during the game, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a first for, for many of us. And what Peter said was that the players had a bit more ownership did of, you know, everything that went on on the field. Did, did that extend to practice as well without having maybe the same voices instructing people? Yeah. There's just not as many uh, people. There's a reason the, staffs are the size that they are. So the players get instruction, uh, organization, drill work, uh, service and scout teams, substitution patterns. Uh, there's a lot of communication that goes on during practice and during games uh, that you know, the coaches and uh, GAs are responsible for. So there was more ownership and our guys handled it as, as well as anybody possibly could, I think. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to David Bush from Barron Center. Yeah, considering the fact that uh, a lot of the guys were off for so long there, how, how have they looked? Has there been any signs of rust or things like that? To, so well, far? Uh, you know, they got to get their legs back underneath them a little bit. I think uh, early in the week, you could see some of that um, get their wind back because there is a number of people that were in isolation for 10 days. So, you know, uh, many of all of those guys try to do something. Uh, in their apartments or their houses or wherever they're living to, to get some sort of exercise, but you're limited to, you know, your personal space and your backyard. Uh, how has uh, Chase looked? He's done a nice job this week. Uh, I think he's, again, you've got great command. Uh, coming off the bye week this uh, earlier this year, I think he just uh, each game played better and better and uh, looking forward to getting back out there and cutting it loose again on Saturday. Thanks. Then we'll go to Jake Curtis from Cal Sports Report. Yeah. Uh, any availability changes since yesterday? Player availability? Ability? No, yeah, nothing really to report there, uh, Jake. You know, uh, both uh, Hunter and Gamble are probable. Day-to-day um, -day with uh, Matt Tower, Swinney, uh, Al um, Femi Aladejo, and uh, that's kind of where we're at now. Um, okay. Go ahead, Jake. What, what's, the, what's the difference with Stanford with McKee in there? Oh, uh, well, you know, he is, a, uh, he is a big physical guy. He can really throw the ball down the field. He's got a, a great passer. He's a very, very skilled passer, um, can make all the throws. And, um, he could still move and, and uh, use his legs maybe to a different degree than a couple of the other guys, but uh, I'm sure they would 
probably have certain things they like uh, with each quarterback in the game, but, but uh, Tanner is a talented passer. And one last thing. I was just looking back. I figured you were at Oregon for five Oregon State games and you played in three of them. Is that right? Do you, and do you remember any of them? Um, you're saying as a player? Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh, man, Jake. Uh, Made a big was, impression on you, huh? Yeah. So redshirted. Then my freshman year, I was injured. Then I played sophomore, junior, senior. Yes, that's correct. I do remember them. Yeah, I, I do. Any particular memories from those games? Oh, uh, well, playing against John Jonathan Smith, uh, we had a triple overtime my junior year. I didn't know it was a triple or double. Uh, we lost to him up there. And then my senior year, we beat him at home. I remember that. I remember Oren Patu's dad making a big play late in the game. Uh, Saul Patu. Uh, yeah, I mean, I you remember moments like that. For sure. And that was a long time ago. Uh, we talked about that with our team, but as players, you, you know, you forget the practices and, you know, some of the in-between stuff, but you remember the moments in those games. There's no doubt about it. Is the buildup or the surrounding environment to that rivalry similar or different from the, the Cal Stanford thing? Um, it's a, it's a great rivalry. You know, the, the civil wars have, uh, means a lot to a lot of people. I don't know that uh, I've been a part of one that means, more than the big game does to people that are involved. Uh, I think the big game is one of the finest rivalries in all of college sports and uh, the history of it, uh, the two institutions, it's just a really unique one. I, you know, I hate ranking them. I don't know that that really helps anybody, but uh, it's a phenomenal rivalry. I'm humbled to be a part of it. And what's most important, and I say this every year, is you know the emotion of it is evident. It's evident with our players, they get it. We talk about it and I want them to appreciate that rivalry and they have a chance to be involved with it. But what's most important is that we go out and play well. And so we need to practice and prepare to do that. It's not the Civil War anymore though. Correct, I misspoke, I apologize. Yeah. Then we'll go to Trace Travers, go ahead Trace. Yeah, coach, since you've been at Cal and playing Stanford, they've kind of, I guess, changed from the strength of their offense being this run game grinded out type of deal to where they'll pass a bit more with, you know, McKee and their complement of tight ends and big receivers. I just want to know what's kind of changed in their run game over that time where they go from, you know, running the ball. Bryce love was there in 2017 to now where they're averaging less than hundred yards per game. Yeah. I, I think uh, all teams, <clears throat> change, you know, year to year, and even within the season, based on your your strengths and weaknesses. And I think uh, they still have a good run game. I know maybe the stats aren't the same as they were in 2017, for example, but they have talented backs and uh, they'll still give you some of those big groupings, you know, with multiple tight ends and formations and it's in there. They have that within their system, but like any good coaches that, you know, they'll lean on what they feel like their players do best. And we try to do the same. And that's why, you know, year to year and week to week, things might be tweaked because, because you're, you're constantly evolving as your team changes and grows. And sometimes there's injuries and things that you got to account for. So. Thank you. Hey guys, anybody else for coach Wilcox? Okay. I think we're good. Coach